Hi, I'm Kurt Nolte, and today I'd like to talk to you about field sanitation and the good work practices linked to field cleanliness. Keeping your fields free of trash and debris is an essential part of fresh produce safety, and everyone who is involved in growing the crop can play a key role in minimizing risk associated with microbial contamination just by following good recommended guidelines and being a good steward of the field and field cleanliness. Growing fresh produce carries risks associated with contamination harbored by foodborne pathogens. In the United States, there are 76 million reported cases of foodborne illnesses a year. Many of these may have been prevented with proper field sanitation and good work practices. Safe handling of fruit products is crucial in preventing sickness of customers that purchase the vegetables that you produce. Here are some practical steps to consider. Make sure you clean up your area after a work break. Trash and other debris can easily blow back into a field. Don't leave trash or food leftovers in or near the field. Trash may attract rodents, birds, or other scavengers. Please report any animal activity in or near fields to your supervisors. You might see coyote tracks, dog tracks, birds, deer, or any type of rodent. Trash, weeds, and brush that are near growing produce needs to be removed to prevent attracting potential disease-carrying insects or animals. Large stains in the soil could result from a fuel leak or an oil spill in the field. It's advisable to report this type of field occurrence to your supervisor. Birds can cause crop damage, especially during germination or when seedlings are small. When scaring birds in a field, use blanks when appropriate. However, when firing live ammunition, try to shoot away from the field so the produce does not become contaminated. It is advisable to specifically use bird poppers or blanks once produce is beyond seedling stage. As a friendly reminder, please pick up any empty cartridges from the ground and place them in a trash container. Visual vigilance is a key aspect of field security and it's recommended that there be a type of control over the access of fields to visitors or strangers. If someone who is not an employee is observed, you should ask them their name, the company that they work for, and the purpose for them being in the field. In some cases, a visitor log sheet will be required for them to sign. Finally, if there are any buildings or storage areas in close proximity of the field, they must be locked at all times with restricted access to keys. These basic recommendations will greatly reduce the risk of microbial contamination in your fields, benefiting all that purchase the produce from your company. Let's keep the public in mind and minimize the risk of microbial contamination as best we can.